Riley from Science Girl, and today we are going to be dissolving candy corn using four different substances. So for this experiment, you're going to need candy corn. We have this from the last experiment. You're also going to need four glasses, three with water, one with canola oil. Then you're also going to need baking soda, citric acid, and a timer. So what we're going to do, since I'm not really going to measure this out, we're going to put in two spoonfuls of this. Open. Okay. So there's that. Now we're going to be putting two spoonfuls in here. And then the other two, we're just going to leave them in their substances alone. Now we're going to take two pieces of candy corn, we're going to drop them in. Now we're going to set a timer for 10 minutes and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so it hasn't even been two minutes yet and you can already see the candy corn is being dissolved by the baking soda mixed with water. You can see the little pieces of it ripping apart and that's just really weird because I figured that the citric acid would be the first one to start dissolving. But apparently not. Now let's take a look at the other cups. I'm just going to move citric acid. As you can see, nothing much yet. It hasn't really done much. Maybe slight discoloration possibly, but nothing crazy. Now let's see water. Water is also starting to dissolve. Wow. So right now it's regular water and baking soda water. Let's take a look. The oil seems to be like preserving it here. As you can see, there's an oxygen bubble going up, but nothing's really happening with the candy corn over here. Almost like it's being put in something that's going to preserve it instead of actually ripping it apart like over here. Oh, yeah. So the citric acid water is now actually starting to destroy the candy corn too. All right, well, we'll get back in 10 minutes and we'll see what's happened. So it has been 10 minutes, um, I'm going to pull them out and put them onto a plate, but they're not looking the best right now. <laughs> Baking soda is definitely a clear winner over here. Oh god. Someone. Uh, yeah. As you can see, it's completely broken it up. Okay, so now we're going to come over here, I'm going to grab these little babies. As you can see, it's coming off in layers. Let's stream so we're not getting it all. Oh, it made a hole in it, as you can see right there. And then we have water. Oh God. Water's not doing too shabby. And then oil, I'm pretty disappointed in you. You didn't make any changes to the candy corn. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, absolutely no changes to the candy corn. It's like you just left them there. So baking soda is definitely a clear winner. You can see it just demolished it. It completely broke it apart. When it comes to the baked um, sorry, <laughs> to the citric acid, it actually put a hole in it and devoured some of the side over here. But also, if you look in the water over here, you can see that it came off in layers. Same with the water, but the water definitely did more damage to the candy corn because there's actually pieces, like, off, and there's a completely dissolved white piece in here that I can't get out. And then the oil. I figured that the oil would have at least done some damage, but none, it looks just like a regular piece of candy corn. Let's pull it out, yeah. 
absolutely no change other than being shiny. So if you guys like this experiment and want to try it for yourself, feel free to. I didn't use any measurements, so it's all going to be different. Uh, well, but if you do try it, please tell me what happened in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and go to my Instagram. It's Science Girl RY. I love you guys. Have a great day. But for now, this is Science Girl.